Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This video is brought on by my past video where I made these little clay pot heaters. I had a couple of my followers comment that they were having trouble finding candles. So I looked to other YouTube videos. This is not something I made up, but I saw that you can take everyday household items such as Crisco and actually this is like the Aldi's knockoff brand. But basically all you have to do is melt it down. I'm gonna try it two different ways and I'm gonna use two different things for wicks. I do have pre-purchased ones on hand, but I'm looking at this as if you're at home, you can't get out because of snow. Um, what can you use that you already have available? So I'm, like I said, I'm gonna use one wick that's already pre-purchased and made for this purpose. And then I have like cotton rope twine here that I'm gonna use too. Um, as you see, a normal wick has like a little base that's metal. In place of that, I'm gonna use just a washer. Um, so we're gonna give this a try and I will let you know how, it, we'll see how it turns out. Some of the other videos I saw um, used whatever jars you have on hand. I have jelly jars because I do know how to can. So for my purpose, I'm gonna use jelly jars. Some of the other videos were really smart. They saved any glass jars that they had. Things like spaghetti jars, relish jars, any grocery item that you would get that you would receive in a glass jar. They even save the lids in some cases. Maybe you don't have this already made up, but it's a good idea to be aware of it. And that way, if there's a situation that strikes and you're in dire need of heat or candles, you can at least make your own. So I'm gonna try it two different ways. One of the videos I watched melted the Crisco in increments of 30 seconds in the microwave. Now, if you're without power and either have a heat source by flame, in my case, I have a propane stove. So even if the electric went out, I could still use that. So I'm gonna try one method, heating it on the stove in a water bath. And then the other way, if you do have electric at the time, you could also melt the Crisco in a microwave. So I'm gonna try it two different ways and I'm gonna take you through with me. This is all kind of trial by error. I'm just gonna scoop into one container and then scoop a little bit into the other. So I tried to do the version where I melted it on my stove and one of my favorite measuring cups just busted. So I am going to go to um, plan B and just melt it in the microwave. And I really, <laughs> I'm so mad at myself because this was one of my favorite antique depression glass pink measuring cups. Um, so I'm going to try to melt the Crisco. This was a fail. Um, I'm gonna try to melt the Crisco in the microwave. So I'm gonna melt this in increments of 30 seconds. We're gonna see how this goes. Oh, so mad at myself. So what I've done, cause I'm, I'm trying to shoot a TikTok and I'm trying to film this for YouTube. What I've done is taken some of this cotton rope that I have. Um, again, this is if you're in a pinch. I hot, put a little touch of hot glue to a washer and then I hot glued the other half to keep it straight it, to a pencil. So it's gonna keep that centered. Um, that is if this even melts the right way, okay. another 30 seconds. I'm so mad at myself. Like I couldn't have picked a measuring cup that I hated. Really didn't think it was just gonna bust like that. Okay, so this is, this is starting to melt. Starting to melt, I'm just gonna stir it a little bit. Put it back for 30 seconds. So I just put that in there a couple times and it already is to the liquid state. And that looks pretty good. So I think what I'm gonna do, I've not seen this in the other videos, but I do have some essential oil. Um, just because when this burns, I'd like it to smell nice if it can. So I'm just gonna put a couple drops of essential oil. Oh, that smells nice. Okay, this is the pre-made wick. So I'm just centering that in the middle. 
does a pretty good job of staying put, but I'm gonna put my other finger on it. I just pour this. So I think what I'm gonna do with this is put it in the freezer momentarily until it starts to thicken. Then I'm gonna double check to make sure that that wick hasn't moved. Detach this carefully. So I went ahead and made three candles. I've already uh, lit the one that has the pre-made wick. I'm gonna attempt this one that has the cotton, that has the cotton rope. Um, I think that'll work just fine. The only mishap I had was breaking my measuring cup that was my favorite. I'm still mad about that. Um, this is putting off a lot of black. Let's see how that does. Um, let's see what happens when it gets down to the Crisco. Supposedly, from the other videos, the people that have done these have said that they last a long time. But I really feel like if you were in survival mode and really in a pinch, this is at least good knowledge to have. Um, I think what I'll do going forward is maybe save some of the spaghetti jars and and things with the lids instead of tossing them and taking them to recycling. So no surprise, the pre-made wick is burning nice and evenly. The um, candle with the cotton rope, as you can see, the flame is jumping around. If I look close, it looks like it's putting off a lot of black smoke. However, part of that could be because I left the wick pretty long. Um, it's just getting to where the flame is starting to hit the Crisco and burn, and I will see if that goes away but that probably in hindsight was not a great idea to leave the wick that long. Um, but this is just something that you can play around with. It's a good survival thing to know. If you really get in dire straits, like what our country is going through right now, um, ha having a candle could really be the difference between, I hate to say it, but life and death. If you're trapped somewhere and you needed to have a candle to survive, this is at least good knowledge Maybe you don't run right out and make these today, but it's good to put in your memory bank for, um, God forbid, the time that you might need to use this. So if you've made candles like this, please put it in the comments. If you've done anything differently, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. And I hope that this was helpful. I hope you check out my other videos and I hope you subscribe. I'll see you next time. Take care.